Pat Tillman was somebody that I'd really admired. Um, I was a college football player, and Pat Tillman, having left a professional football contract on the table to enlist in the Army and, and go fight in Afghanistan, had inspired me when he did it, and the news of his death was what motivated me to actually go and, and, and join the Marines. I enlisted in the Marine Corps after graduating from college at the age of 23. I spent all four years in the infantry. I did a tour to Iraq uh, in 2007 and later moved into a sniper platoon and did a tour to Afghanistan in 2008. I was born in Omaha, Nebraska, uh, raised kind of all over the place, but uh, landed in Iowa for the majority of my uh, childhood and high school. You know, Iraq is, um, in the area we were, uh, near the Euphrates River, it's, it's actually quite beautiful. My, my welcome to Iraq moment happened two weeks in. My patrol was hit with an IED and we, we lost a guy. And um, from, from there, it really, I guess, kind of went downhill. Emotionally, you know, there's really no indoctrination program that you can do to, to prepare somebody for that. You're aware of what could happen. You're aware that it very well may happen to you or your friend. And so you kind of steal your nerve. That said, Afghanistan was a very tough fight. It was a very tough deployment. We didn't have showers for seven months, had no restrooms, didn't have a hot meal for seven months. And it, it, was, it was a very brutal, brutal deployment. I, I would honestly say that the highlight of each of them was coming home and seeing my mom when the earthquake struck Haiti in January. And so it was, I was only three months out of the Marines. Um, I initially called some organizations to volunteer my services the day of the earthquake and told them I was a two-time combat veteran with uh, you know, a lot of special schools under my belt and a lot of experiences that could be used in Port-au-Prince. All the organizations for a lot of number of different reasons turned me away and so uh, I guess undeterred, a little bullish, um, I decided to go to Facebook and uh, post that I would like to go to Haiti and I was looking for people to go with me and within an hour um, both my college roommate and uh, a friend of mine that was also a former Marine, uh, William McNulty, called me up and said, hey, I'm in. And we started raising money and we were in Port-au-Prince two days later. There's, there's no other organization right now that is fully harnessing the potential of veterans to improve the efficiency of disaster response. To do that, we use the skills of uh, returning veterans, uh, people that have served overseas, uh, that can work faster, uh, mitigate risk, lead teams in austere environments and uh, improve uh, both the, the speed and efficiency of disaster response organizations. We can add value to the discussion about how troops come home and what makes their transition from military service to civilian life successful.